According to ancient Jewish folklore, there was a woman named Lilith. She is believed to be the first wife of Adam, the first man created by God. But Lilith's story is quite different from what we usually hear about Adam and Eve. You see, Lilith was a strong and independent woman. She didn't want to be subservient to Adam or any other man. She wanted to be equal, to be treated with respect. But unfortunately, that was not how things were in the Garden of Eden. Lilith and Adam would often argue because Lilith refused to submit to Adam's authority. She wanted to stand as an equal partner, not as someone who had to obey him. Eventually, their arguments became so heated that Lilith decided to leave Eden. After leaving the garden, Lilith made her home near the Red Sea. She lived there alone, far away from Adam, but her story doesn't end there. As time went on, Lilith gained a reputation for being a seductress and a temptress. She was said to be a demon who preyed on men, especially those who were unfaithful to their wives. This reputation led to the belief that Lilith was a dangerous and forbidden woman. In some stories, Lilith is even depicted as a mother of demons. It is said that she would give birth to hundreds of demon children and raise them in secret. These stories made her an object of fear and fascination. Over the centuries, Lilith's story has been interpreted in different ways. Some see her as a symbol of women's liberation and defiance against male dominance. Others view her as a figure of evil and temptation. Regardless of how you interpret her story, Lilith remains a captivating and controversial figure in mythology. She challenges traditional gender roles and raises important questions about equality and power dynamics. So, that's the story of Lilith, the Forbidden Woman of Eden. A tale of a strong-willed woman who dared to defy the norms of her time and carve her own path, even if it meant leaving paradise behind.